Operation Ice Bridge has arrived at Thule Air Base to kick off this year's survey of Arctic sea ice and the ice sheets and glaciers of Greenland. But just a week ago, they were still at Wallops Flight Facility outfitting a brand new aircraft for the trip. Actually, the NASA C-130 four-engine turboprop cargo plane has seen five decades of service, but it's a new aircraft to Ice Bridge. With its distinctive nose, elevated cockpit, an open cabin, it's a change of pace for the team, but functionally, it's built to do the job. So the C-130, it's, it's an interesting aircraft. Again, this one for us is a, is a new airplane. It's not, it's about my age actually, but, but uh, Wallops just got it about a year ago. Uh, first time we've installed in it. It has some advantages, some disadvantages over the P-3 that we normally take to Greenland. Pretty similar performance really, roughly similar range, roughly similar uh, ground speed, maneuverability characteristics, that sort of thing. For the past few months, the Wallops and Icebridge teams have been busy making sure the aircraft is properly configured for the mission's many laser, radar, and photographic instruments. That was a long road. Uh, it's always a big deal putting all these instruments. There's a whole suite of them on board a, what to us is a new airplane, a lot of design work, a lot of machining, a lot of cutting of metal, a lot of redesigning and remachine work and recutting of metal when the first one doesn't always work out like we hope. Once we're modularized and designed into the system, it'll be pretty easy, but the first time is, is hard, and that's what's been an issue uh, with this particular deployment, because all of our optical instruments have to be uh, machined to fit to, out, uh, to, to look out of a particular viewport in the bottom. All the wiring has to work. And the uh, equipment you see behind you here, which is precise navigation um, uh, equipment, which helps us put the airplane directly underneath the satellite path or directly over one of our previous paths from Icebridge. Uh, all that has to be wired into the system, tested, uh, flight tested, and that's what we're in the process of doing now. One week later, with all test flights a success, Icebridge is now 6,000 miles to the north, already has its first flight in the books, and will be flying out of Greenland and Fairbanks, Alaska for the next two months. <laughs>